Hello people, I'm the Scorpion, and to finally finish off Orktober at long last, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a Beast Naga boy. How I started off was simply to base the model in Wraithbone Spray while also keeping it disconnected from the base, just to try out a new technique. And the first paint we are going to be using is Apothecary White for all the fur. Now, I will mention this, you don't need to use Apothecary White or any other colors for like all the hides and furs and even the leathery bits on it. Beast Naggers, in my opinion, will have a variety of colors based on whatever monsters they've slain and wear about them, so feel free to mix up whatever colors you want. As more of a hardline color, we are then going to use Dried Bark for the pants, just to kind of give a nice, consistent brown. We're then going to use Gore Grunter Fur on all the leather straps, kind of give just a little differentiation. I ended up using some on the rip straps, which I believe I ended up using a different color. We're then going to take some snake bite leather and use it on the leather parts of the weapons as well as the pouch here. We're going to take some Cygor Brown and use it on all the boots. We're then going to take some Lead Belcher and use it on all the metal bits, such as the gun and his little eye optic thing, as well as part of his chopper. We're then going to take some Black Templar and use it on most of the weapon casings of the gun and the chopper. Now take some Balthazar Gold and just highlight most of the bullets. And finally, we're going to take some Auric Flesh and just go all about the skin, just being very careful on all the previous bits we have painted up so far. Now, take some Balefang Green and then apply it to the rest of the skin, and then grab Agrax and use it on all the metal bits, as well as the Pauldron, which, to mention, we did leave Wraithbone White. Now, grab some Skeleton Horde and use it on the bones. Next, I'm going to take Voluptuous Pink and use it on the loincloth, since I kind of figured this was also going to be part of kind of the this personal Beast Snagas apparel, and make him stand out from all the other Beast Snagas. Now quickly, after those washes have dried, we're going to go back with Auric Flesh as a layer on more of the topper parts of the skin. I usually like to think of the model from a very top-down point of view to do the highlights and just kind of layer some of the higher edges, avoiding the recesses. And then finally, we're going to take some Nurgling Green and just focus on the face, like the lips, the jaw lines, etc. Now, as we get to the eyes, we're going to take Corn Red, but only use it on the Cyber Eye. Then we're then going to take Wazdaka Red and then do both of the eyes. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of white scar and just put a little dot in the corner. The last part of this is just to retake Wraithbone, this time in the pot form, and just kind of reapply it on the pauldron, avoiding any of the recesses, and then take Flayed One Flesh and use it as highlights of any dents and edges. At this point, you can now just fully attach it to your base. Uh, if you want to see a tutorial on how I did this base, I will be posting up one soon afterwards. Other than that, if you already have it attached to the base, you just base it as normal, and then just paint the rim of the base with whatever. I end up using Wraithbone again. And that's it! Uh, thank you all for watching. It was uh, a little bit tricky to uh, get through this because of uh, just a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, as well as just technical issues, but um, this was fun and very fulfilling. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. Uh, please leave a comment, a like, and share it around, because that really does help me and give me confidence in these, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.